Dear sweet Alex, where have you been? I don't have to tell you, you're not my real dad. No, I've been gone for a while because I've been everywhere for work. I've been to Vegas, Orlando, Ohio, Toronto, yeah, just everywhere. You know what? Let me show you through the magic of video. I'm gonna keep it civil. You're gonna get donkey stomped. He said it looks too suggestive. I don't think it looks too suggestive. You are the winner. Okay, show him that cash. There you go. Organic. We're cow. Yeah, organic cows. All right, anyway. So I picked up these uh, Cook's headers a while ago. I actually got a good deal on them. Uh, they're individual. They have separate collectors. Um, and they're overall, they're in pretty decent shape. Um, I'd say the price I paid for them was not a deal, but it was a fair price. Uh, but there's a few issues. Uh, some of the tubes have, shall we say signs of abuse um i can't imagine that this was done for fitting uh in a couple of cases the way the guy i bought them from shipped them to me uh he just wrapped them in trash bags and let them bang around in the box and i think that's how things like this happen but i'm not too thrilled about that obviously so uh let's take a look these are inch and three-quarter headers what do we got So, here, let's go to the smallest. Look at that. I don't know if you can make that out. Not even an inch and a half there at that section. Uh, a good tube section, just for reference. 1.747, so basically three quarters of an inch. By the way, this stuff is... depending on where you measure it. It's about 18 gauge. That's what that works out to be. So uh, anyway, this, this section here has been particularly molested. This is the worst of the tubes. So I was going to uh, fix some of the issues before I put them on. I was, I'm planning to uh, blast these and Cerakote them and do all that happy jazz. But before I can do that, this really just bothers the hell out of me and you know i know it probably doesn't cost any power but it's still just freaking ugly and i don't want to put them on in this condition so uh worst case scenario i'll end up having to cut and replace this but first i wanted to test the theory of what happens when you freeze water inside a tube so i did a little bit of research because well that's just what i do and i found that uh water expands approximately nine percent and exerts a pressure of something like 43,000 PSI before it converts to what they call ice two. Now that's starting to get kind of outside my wheelhouse, so I'm not even gonna get into that. Point is, that's more than enough pressure to split these tubes, um, push out these dents. What I don't like about this theory uh, is that it's, it's really uncontrolled. It's just kind of wild. What's most likely to happen, I think, is it's going to fail at the welds. You know, these are just butt welds done from the factory. And more likely than not, this is more than a 90 degree bend here. Uh, not much, but it is more. So I'm likely just going to end up having to cut and replace this out because, frankly, I don't really have the highest hopes that this is going to do much. But towards that end, 
I figured I'd give it a shot. So for this side, I have a piece of scrap stainless that I cut out. It's an eighth inch thick. Uh, a little bit piece of leftover gasket, some bolts. Just gonna put that on on the edge on the edge of it there. And then for the other side, that was actually kind of a problem. Um, but I found, if you're like me, you have sanding drums laying around. So this is a sanding drum, and uh, I also use this particular tape that I bought for the pellet stove I put in called Extreme Tape. But what it is, is it's uh, silicon tape, or silicone tape, that only binds to itself. With just a layer or two of that, this is a perfect fit. And when you loosen it up in particular, slide it in and horse it down. So uh, we'll fill this with water. Why am I doing this today? It's Christmas Day. I'm a Philistine. But uh, I'm doing it today because for two reasons. One, I have to work the rest of the week. And two, tonight it's going to be freezing outside. It's going to be, well, below freezing. It's going to hit 25, supposedly. And I don't want to put this thing in my freezer. So, you know, it's my choice. I have standards of hygiene I like to maintain. So, anyway, uh, the guy who I uh, bought these from cleaned them up and VHT'd them, and that's all going to go away. We'll put Cerakote on them and see how that stuff works. But let me put these caps on. Let's fill it with water. I'm going to wrap a rag with warm water in it so this part freezes last i'm going to set it outside kind of like this and we will see what happens wow in this particular view that bend looks particularly narrow but i think that's largely a lensing issue so let's see what happens so this piece of gasketing material it's going to go in here to help seal this end let's seal her up So that's the one end, that's how it looks. I'm gonna take a wrench, tighten these down, and then I'm gonna fill it with water, slip this in, and see what happens. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fill it all the way up with water or not yet, because I don't wanna destroy the entire freaking tube. Um, but probably a lot of it will. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. See if it's airtight. Yep, appears to be airtight. So let's go get a rag. This one will do. We'll get it wet. We will probably zip tie it. Yeah, we'll probably do this a little neater than this. We'll probably fold this up so we can position exactly where we want and that's going to be right about there zip tie it in position fill it with water and see what happens Okay, that is full. This is interesting. Water level went down, but it's not leaking anywhere. Well, whatever. Let's just add some more. That kind of sucks. That's a little too much. But, you know what? Fortunately, we have a rag that we need to get wet anyway. We like to use the whole buffalo. I personally think this is just going to rust my headers worse and uh, destroy them, but you know, whatever. Oh boy, there we go. Left handed thread. Oh, that made a mess. go one head or two fill with water 
about to be destroyed outside. Look, it doesn't leak. All right, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not having a good feeling about this. Let's see if we can even see it in the dark. It's a ghostly presence. There's the tube, there's the cloth, it's wet. I did actually kind of chicken out and uh, not fill it all the way up. I dumped a little bit of water out, thinking that if it's going to freeze up at the ends first, it'll have enough uh, friction to uh, grab onto the tubes and uh, then let the last part to freeze. Uh, exert pressure in not just against the dents, hopefully, but also against the ice and push the water out. I don't know. I'm not feeling good about this. Let's see. Let's fade away into the darkness. Stepped in the damn pack of Sandra. So here it is the next morning. I gotta get ready to go to work. I checked on it a couple of times. Uh, over the course of the night just to make sure it didn't split nothing weird was going on haven't looked under here yet this is still wet it was frozen solid last night let's go ahead and either rejoice or be disappointed together or something in between all right And, honestly, looks about the same. Did it move at all? I don't know. Let's find out. The smallest measurement I was getting was just under an inch and a half. Well, it did move. Quite a bit, actually. It's about the same. So, moved a little bit, but still pretty bad right through here. I suppose I could try it again by filling it completely with water, but I don't really think that these welds are going to survive. So, there you go, taking dents out with water. Well, it does move it, but it does nothing for the cosmetics, I can tell you that. So, since we've already got these uh, end plugs, we'll see what I try next. Maybe I'll try uh, putting a quarter inch, air for, or quarter inch NPT in here and screwing in an air fitting and trying the torch, but I don't have... Uh, I've got a miniature oxyacetylene torch, not a full-size one, so, you know, it is what it is. At least it didn't make it worse. By the way, I took the caps off. You can still see a bunch of ice in here, so it went all the way up to there. Still a whole lot trapped in there. Much less funny in the morning. I gotta get to work. Catch you guys later.